It's time for Play City Skylines 2. Alright, so, um... Last time I was playing, I thought, oh, I think I'm re reaching the end of what I want to do. Maybe kind of reach all I want to do in the city for now until we get, you know, um, um, upgrades or whatever. Um, but uh, after the most recent uh, update from uh, developers, it looks like that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, so, but then... I um, started uh, swimming and I found myself um, having all these ideas for things that I want to try. Um, partly revolving around um, building building out the area across the river over here. Um, and now that I look at it, it looks a little different than I imagined. Um, so what I was thinking is uh, we have a lot of traffic coming in here. So what if we did a bypass? Because we have traffic coming through here to like go through all this. What if we had a way to come around? But now that I see the way the river's organized, I'm kind of rethinking this a little bit. I wonder if it's as good an idea as I thought it was. Um, maybe. The answer is maybe. Um... First, there's something I wanted to do um, is I want to take a look at the policies, city policies, um, if I can find them. Because, <laughs> um, you know, we, everyone keeps complaining about the temp the um, noise and everything, so I want to see if I can fix some of that. Ah, here we go. Maybe. <laughs> yep. Okay. Alright, so residential doesn't like the unoccupied. So everyone's kind of annoyed with the taxes. Um, but mostly everything is okay. Alright, so if we go to silly po city policies. Um... All right, I did hear people complain about smog. Let's do that. Do we do city promotion? Uh, I'm not going to worry about this just yet. Um, all right, looks like we don't have too many policies. Let's take a look at our districts then. The so park crossing. So let's definitely do that over in these districts here. I think these should have speed bumps. And we should probably have some over here too. Um, so one thing I want to do is kind of inspired by an area near me. Our county, like, dump and recycling area is right off the highway. And so in kind of like a more rural area. So I was thinking, what if we put it off the highway? Kind of maybe a little more centrally located. Because right now all the trash has to come from over here. It has to travel through all this. So maybe we'll put a recycling center off of here. Yeah. So let's get an alleyway. Go off of there. Off like that. Let's see. I'm gonna have to unlock it first.
Mm -hmm. There we go. Just need to expand the alleyway a little bit. Good. I'd like to get like a dense forest in front of it, kind of like blocking it from view. Okay. So that takes care of that. They don't have water because water is not carried through the highway so we will bring it from here to there have we made a connection we have okay excellent okay so hopefully that will improve things let's take a look at our garbage all right perfect so now, let's see here. So if I was going to come across the river, if I was going to do my bypass, I'm going to have to go bridge, 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 and down. And then, do I lose the ability to connect through here? How much are we going to be able to do an interchange, really? Or I go all the way across, but then that's a long way to come. I don't think anybody's going to want to do that. <laughs> choices, choices, choices. Well, I guess, I guess maybe if I do it as a rural highway, then it's not so bad. Let's do that. It'll, we'll, we'll kind of picture it somewhat like. Um, US-1 in the Florida Keys, it won't ex that's not exactly the perfect analogy, because those are actually highways, but let's do that. Alright, so let's buy cross like that. And one more there. Alright, so that'll let me do my bypass, so let's do that first. This is just a street. This is a highway. This is a street. All right, so we'll just take our two lane highway. Let's see, we'll come off of here. We already have a uh, have a uh, intersection there. We'll go up. Do a curve. We'll go up. Curve. Okay. Now, let's go straight across. We will switch to a straight. Let's see, I think it's worth going a little bit out here this way. And across, perfect. You know what? I like it. It'll be just like the keys. It'll be like right next to the water. All right, cool. 
So now... We are going to... I'm just taking a look at what we've got going on here. There's Barlow Way. There's our... Okay, let's see. All right, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so I think what I want to do here is I want to unlock like the crazy bridge because I want it to be like a centerpiece thing. There was an accident or something over here. People have gotten a little confused about what they're doing. Um, if I, let's see, we've got a suspension bridge. All right, let's go. Oops, wrong button. Grand Bridge. Almost all the rest of our points. All right, so now if I go over here. It's actually a medium road? Interesting. All right, I will save that for another portion then. Here we want it to be a highway. All right, we're going to have this highway be... All right, so what does this require us to do here? If I went from here, would it work? Oh, it would. Look at that. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. What kind of future does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. All right. Local stargazers are in for a real treat tonight as the Aurora Borealis is expected to light up the night sky. That's right. Don't forget <coughs> I wonder if I have to be in the San Francisco map to use the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge because I know I got it from pre-ordering. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all. All right. We're joined today by an expert guest. Professor. Here we've got Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the this thing here. Let's do a bridge. Humans are awesome bridge. Oh, here we go. Representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart. Oh, I guess I didn't have to. Or maybe that unlocked all these. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of All right, that. so this needs to be like some wide area. You go like this. Abstraction and its effect on the human. Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priority. All right, so I could do it over there if I wanted to. But if we were over here, all right, so how many lanes? Eight lanes. Be four and four, right? Okay. We have screwed up this uh, mansion area. <laughs> that looks bonkers. Right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's... Uh, <laughs> sure. You know what? Sure. Um, Alright. Enough silliness. Um, so, what I want to do 
here. Let's see if it makes sense. I want to have six lane road that kind of goes like this. Cross. Okay. And you know what? We'll make this the point at which it goes out. It's going to be the beginning of our grid. Um. Okay. <laughs> Let's buy some more land. All right. Um. I think what I want to do is link up this guy with this guy. Um, he seems to have like collapsed into a uh, what's this called? Like a uh, billiards table or something. Um, so let's go highway, uh, two lane roads separated. Five. Let's do five. Is that right? Five. Yeah, that'll give us some room to do some stuff. Um, all right, let's see. So I want to be, I want to go over this road. All right, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Meet up with him. Meet up with him. All right, and so what I want to do is I want to have it be raised throughout this whole area here, and then I'll later I'll make it look pretty with dirt and stuff like that. But um, for now we're just gonna have it be raised. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna have this go go curve. We're gonna go up over. Nope. Where in the hell is... Oh, okay. I thought those were cars. I was like, where are the cars coming from? I need to zoom out some more. Um, originally I was picturing having more land when I was picturing this, but that's okay. This will be its own thing. All right, so now let's get off of that. And we need these guys to meet up. Let's see. What if we had a round, a large roundabout? All right, what if we... From here became four lane highway going like that. Roundabout. Gonna have to back it up a little bit. Let's see.
There's that. It's quite a sharp curve, isn't it? <laughs> Including adding a lean. Um, That works a little better. With one turnabout. Okay, maybe that works. Maybe that works a little better. Alright, so something is broken over here. I kind of want to envision this as an area that was rezoned um, to be high, you know, high, high level of zoning because we kind of like knew that was coming. So we said, yeah, let's just do that from the beginning. Um, so we're just going to go with high density to start with. Now, what I want to do is. This fit. I would have put a tram depot. Nope, oh, it's too big. But what if I said we're going to terraform this lane? Kind of come out. Mm hmm. A little more. Perfect. All right. <coughs> and they have electricity from this road, I guess, and water. All right. Now we'll do that zoning in a little bit. Um, so let's, so what I want to do is kind of like a, oh, no watcher. Why no watcher? It doesn't go on bridges. All right. So what if we said, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. All right. We are going to have to worry about our water situation pretty soon though. All right, so I'm gonna do. Let's see. I'm gonna do three way. Up. Oh, right. So I wanted to make sure we can at least fit an elementary school. So we had one here. Go. Let's do one forty. Wait, how was that 140 before and now it's now oh, because I went you go all the way there, but okay, so we'll do that. So we'll do 140 and then on the crossroads, I want to have them be both ways. Just gonna go all the way to here. All right, and then down. 
there. All right, and there's the foundation of our our uh, road network. Just kind of want to get things set up first. And then every other one, I want to go a slow road. This direction. Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation right. in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. You're listening to Second Moon, the station for the cultural sophisticate who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere of the classical genre. Let us move now from the musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly ancient correspondence from a listener. My dear... Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apology for my erudite, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle arts. Mm. Though I do thank you for the honor, mm. uh, but I digest to continue. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area... Mm, we've got a smaller one here. ...high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No All use right. reminding you. I think we're going to expect delays and drive safe. Let it stay there for now. These can turn around here, can't they? I thought they could. I'm thinking of a larger road or something. I only really envision this going. Back and forth here. They can't use roundabouts. Uh. Oops. That's probably okay, though. Uh. Okay.
I will do a do 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 We'll have the track just come off on its own. Come back home. There we go. Right. And this one. What I'll do is I'll go like that. back into the system here. Uh, there we go. Cool. That's... You know what, then? Let's not do that, because I'm probably going to want to come off that road at some point. Let's do... that does what it needs to do. Kind of silly, but there we go. Um, the other thing I really want to do before I forget is City Park. This can go... Ah, I was hoping... Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Right there. Alright. Okay. So let's do some zoning. So near the park, we're gonna have high density here and here. Um, we're going to place a school. Let's see. Oh, the highway. I should probably have like a exit over here somewhere. Um, let's see. This one I'm going to go. Off like that. Let's bring this road out there. So this can just meet up right there. This can also up there. Um, 
also we should temporarily make that a distance too long. All right, well, on this side, we should definitely temporarily make it a three. All right. Um, I'm getting off the highway. Oh, I guess it doesn't have to be a two, does it? That was kind of silly. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Now that we can get on and off the highway here, I make. Guy here. Next to an off. Next to an office. No. Wait, stop. Next to an office building. I have a path. Back here. Here I'll have another big commercial, the little commercial. Mm. <coughs> All right, so while those grow, I'm also going to go ahead and do do we already have some kind of traffic jam over here? Wow, everyone's taking the bypass. Some people have taken the bypass. They do not like this. We should here, I guess. To revisit whether or not this actually needs to be signalized. All right, let me think about this here. Is going to be a potentially very high traffic area, so going to city planner place says take a mulligan here, drop some cars in the ocean. Got lane in direction. All right, first of all, I want to make this a driving advisory bigger. has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. 
This is Second Moon Radio, classical for the modern age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper, using only their imagination as guides through a silent, audible masterpiece. Now, here we sit, listening at full volume. And All right, we'll leave it like that. Okay, so. Transported. Hmm. But let us not tarry. On to the next episode. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. <coughs> and if you can, plan right. your trip so we got that sorted. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather That's wait now too rude. I have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, I'm cross here. Our boats. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Merge with them. Right, and same thing in this direction. There we go. All right. I just need to figure out how to get where they need to be. Now we're in better shape here. Okay. So, Skyline is taking shape. Businesses up in here. Definitely some of these would be around here. <laughs> All right, so we do have some people doing the bypass. Hopefully that'll fix the traffic situation. Trying to go through the city here, over here. <laughs> All right. Um, I also want to set up my tram service. Oh, maybe this is what I had to do for it to go back and forth, but I'm not entirely sure. All right. I do. Block. Yeah, I knew I didn't need that over there.
I didn't actually want to go on that other road, so I'm just going to come back this way. Okay. Um, there's that. And I'm just going to do some more zoning. And... One more thing I want to do for this episode. for some row houses. We can always upzone it later. You're listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? 
humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstract and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. services. the ability to pick EU or North America. There we go, it's back. Thank you. 
Right. thing. That looks really good. Airplane says, Kyle is due. See you next time. Goodbye.